माई डियर नीट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव एस्परेंट्स इन दिस मोमेंट ऑफ डिस्पेयर आई एम रियली हार्ड ब्रोकन बिकॉज ऑफ रीडिंग सो मेनी काउंटलेस मैसेजेस ऑल दो वी वेंट लाइव यस टडे एंड यू नो वी कूडेंट जस्ट कंट्रोल वी कूडेंट स्लीप वी हैव बिन गेटिंग ऑल दिस मैसेजेस एंड यू नो देर इज अ बिग बिग ब्लैंडर विच एन टी ए हैज डन एंड दीज फाइव थिंग्स वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सपोज नो बडी हैज एक्सपोज दिस फ्यू पीपल मे हैव होप फुली एंड आई होप दैट एवरी चैनल कॉपीज दिस वीडियो एंड एक्सपोज एन टी ए लाइक नेवर बिफोर आई एम नॉट आस्किंग यू टू गो प्रोटेस्ट इन जंतर मंतर इन डेली नो नो दैट इज नॉट वॉट वी आर आस्किंग यू टू डू बट एवरी स्टूडेंट एवरी पेरेंट मस्ट बी अवेयर एंड एवरी पेरेंट मस्ट नो दैट देर चाइल्ड इज टेलिंग द ट्रूथ एंड दे आर नॉट लाइंग एंड दे आर नॉट एट फॉल्ट कंप्लीटली एंड वी एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम फील लिटरली लाइक क्लाउंस we are literally like those jokers we are the jokers the teachers the students the parents last year need 2024 with all the scams with all the rank inflation and the students who took a drop after getting 3 a 650 600 those students uh, mental state cannot be you know expressed like it is the worst what could have happened so I feel we need to show it out, students, because as you know, last time also it was us who were the first people to show that paper leak happened, and definitely it reached higher authorities. That is why an immediate notification had come. So we are doing it so that it the voice is heard, and every year NTA turns out to be a more trusting agency, and they think about students more than they think about their reputation or everyone should talk about you know NTA that oh yes they have come back. it's not anyone's come back it's at the end of the day we need good doctors in the country and if you are going to continuously give a come back it does not offer good doctors anywhere again so, ma'am uh, all of you would agree to this line the paper was good the paper was solid paper for a competitive exam yes. but the paper was unfair the paper was structured in a way that it will make sure the students who are preparing for a certain pattern throughout the year from couple of years they would not be able to do it it is structured in that way and we will discuss that in one by one also yes. yeah let's discuss and this expose is a big expose you will watch these five points and you will understand it why so we will start with biology and uh, something that we noticed out of the you know i don't know out of proportions this have come students that this time they have given 204 marks for botany, botany. and 156 marks for zoology and this is exactly according to the weightage and students would have observed every single year that uh, in biology they always bifurcate they yes. give zoology zoology separately botany, botany separately. separately chemistry as well as physics but this day there was no bifurcation and when we come to biology it immediately starts after chemistry and you cannot tell the distinguishing line between your chem, uh, bio zoology and botany there and again this year students there were a lot of questions lot of questions from botany and these questions were specifically picked from an area where they'll make sure you'll not be able to answer for example plant kingdom in plant kingdom the general trend is always algae and everything but they asked deliberately they asked you the questions from your life cycle of pteridophytes and bryophytes which many students under pressure will not be able to remember yes. right so i would also want to show the percentage to all of the students just to look at this students every year we know this many questions are dedicated from zoology and botany and this is exactly the percentage zoology this time they have asked around 43 to 44% and botany around 56 to 57% there is no way not so yeah that. now we cannot Uh, tell that okay this year this happened so we should give more importance to botany we should reduce the importance on zoology it would be that zoology usually students never skip because it's more you know understanding you can relate plants you might you know be like it's yeah. too complicated very, very boring yeah. who wants to study botany but exactly so that's why they played a game you understand so it's all a mind game now and this is why we feel like it's a big 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 blunder and usually so seeing they clearly hid the title, title. zoology botany no so there was no yes. botany and even chemistry so it started directly so usually the what happens sir we have 45 yeah. questions in botany 45 questions in zoology that line is crossed there is yes. no and we never know from now onwards that what is going to be the weightage of your botany and zoology anymore because coming year they might again change it next year who knows 70% zoology 30% botany because all of you might focus on botany so again students if you are a 2026 aspirant do not have any idea in your mind that you know i will study this only zoology more botany more nothing like that at all yes. you can see so couple of questions here ma'am 
Yes, uh, students, we saw a lot of questions that were very, you know, controversial and many of you felt it was out of NCRT. First question is about this tapetum where they're mentioning about microspore mother cell, where in NCRT it is clearly mentioned it is about pollen grains. And here we have a biologist which has come from the intro, intro part, intro of the cell chapter. Now, these things have not happened over here, so we always stick to one pattern. So, the, as we want to say, it's completely unprecedented, it has never happened before, but now, we have to get used to this. Yeah. Now students, if you can see, this this is what I am, see, look at the, even the question which they have asked you from your biology classification. The question will take away more than two minutes of your time or one minute of your time. And we, as we need to uh, spend around 30 to 40 seconds in biology question, this question takes about one or two minutes and there is your losing points. Now again students, if you see this question again, <clears throat> Now see, so again, look at this question from your entire uh, uh, tenet of fights. Look at the question from this question, man. This question is even more because many students still do not know the answer. Because it is actually out of your NCRT little. Because yes, in NCRT we teach mutualism and everything. But we never tell. Like I have told in my DNA batch and everything that uh, it is non true, but it is not true because it is biologically not true. Right? And if you see here also, this statement all again is very very controversial. It says fig fruit and doesn't explain anything. Again, nothing in NCRD tells you that only male is present inside the fig fruit, female can fly away because it has wings, never it is mentioned. So such questions are so controversial and I do not know how examiner can expect the students to know out of NCRT when they say syllabus is NCRT. Right. Also, I would say that how did the examiner even think that a student would be able to spend only 50 seconds on a single question if the question is this long, where you have to, uh, you know, correct it according to the current events, you have to correct it according to the, you know, chronological order. It is not possible. So I just want to know if they have solved the paper in three hours because that is my main concern. And now students going to chemistry and physics also, I think Shair sir will be able to tell for yeah. physics, yes. See, yesterday I made a physics video already, but uh, you know, uh, I I was really, really heartbroken, guys, looking at these questions. See, if this came in JE, mains, or even advanced, it is understandable. Like, look at this question, guys, like surface tension that to, you know, the curvature is asked with a second derivative and you have to frame an equation. Like, what the hell is this? What the hell? I mean... Look at this question. This this question is from J Advance a long time back. They have asked this this particular question, but you know, uh, uh, almost eighty percent of this question is similar to the J Advance level, where mass is given some velocity, the string is becoming slack, and all of that. What is this? Why is this coming in neat exam? And look at this question. Uh, A alpha, beta, gamma, delta, five variables. Guys, even in J mains, <clears throat> how long does it take to solve in such questions? Yeah, I will tell. I will. Next slide is exactly that, sir. I have calculated it. And I see, I'm not like one of those teachers. Oh, I solved this paper in 30 minutes. No, I'm not going to show off like that. See, guys, this question had five variables. It's a big deal. You can only have three variables, maximum four. Why five? It's going to take a hell lot of time. Why give that kind of questions? Now, when I tried to solve this particular question paper, it took me more than 100 minutes and I'm a teacher. When I tried to think from the student's perspective, I made the calculations. There were 15 hard questions and these hard questions took four minutes. That means 60 minutes, one hour gone and you have barely solved 15 questions out of 45 questions. 25 questions were moderate. 62 minutes gone, assuming 2.5 minutes per question. And easy questions, I'm saying two minutes, barely five questions, guys. That's 10 minutes, totally 132 minutes in physics. This is physics. How much time is left now for biology and chemistry? Then why are you printing that NCRT when you wanted to give these kind of questions? Let's throw that NCRT. Let's buy some new book or you suggest us which book we should study from. Or you decide that we are going to keep this kind of paper only, you make it a norm. Then why are you suggesting us NCRT? Everything will be NCRT based. This is not right, guys. For a neat student, for having this level of difficulty of paper, show this slide. Show this calculation which Shreyasar has done. You are not lying. Please explain it to your parents. Is it possible for any student to complete the paper? Have those NDA people at least sat and solved the paper? 
or they just wanted to take revenge and i'll tell you one more one more very disgusting thing and i think uh, diksha ma'am should tell about it because in j mains when the questions went wrong did they give bonus ma'am no not at all not even uh, one question and even last year also you know so much ha has happened in the court itself even then they only give just one bonus question right so we were expecting that at least now they should be very careful when they are making the question see if they are expecting you to solve these j advanced level question one thing we can expect is uh, the question should be correct that we can expect from them right if they can expect from you that you solve physics j advanced level question but here what we saw can you just see this question or see this uh, here they have asked you minimum conductance and even in cbse i have not seen such mistake third and fourth options have just approximately they are uh, same both have just one one ions it's not a calculative question that we can expect that maybe some typing mistake is here no calculation nothing here it is even with just one glance you can see that this is the wrong question right now next is again one very very big blunder by nta so b option is the correct out of it so according to that third should be the correct answer but a is not the correct option a is not the correct uh, statement a is not correct b is correct i can't see not even one option where a is not present but b is present so again there is no answer for this question so two question right we definitely definitely want bonus uh, marks here right we definitely want eight marks here that is justified here but will nta give is the real question and who is going to answer all those students who took a drop in 2023 attempted 2024 had all that misery back then and now again took a drop two years, two years gone <clears throat> both the years Something other happened. It was not a smooth thread at all. Both the years, last year, the entire neat paper leak and entire scenario. This year, again, completely unprecedented way of presenting a paper. So it not only just bring down the morale of the students, it completely breaks them. And I believe this becomes a discouraging factor for all the future students also. Yes, right. Very true. And I feel is this. I just want to know, like all this is done just because last year we questioned the entire, you know, yeah. system. system. We questioned that we want students to have a fair examination. i don't know how difficult it is to have fair examination see we do not talk about the paper yes paper can be difficult it is a competitive exam it can be difficult no one questions about the difficulty but is it possible for a student to solve in 3 hours because first you remove the b part you remove the extra time for them to do it and now that you are setting a paper which is taking each question 2 minutes 3 minutes some teachers have even you know tried solving it i think shreyasar also was solving it and he's telling it is taking 5 minutes to come to the conclusion and yeah. then see the option and not all the question but there are questions like that now that is the question it's, no it's like two extreme ends there is we have to find a middle ground right so it, either yeah. it's like too easy last year when many students score really well or it's yeah. going to be too you, difficult you make it competitive yes. yeah. but not so competitive not so exponentially you can just make the yeah. paper very very difficult for the students it is a, not a surprise it's a shock and why why for a medical student physics paper should be very hard okay biology you made it hard we can understand why physics Why is physics? It might be required for little optics here and there, like in future radiology and everything, but not, not this so level. Much. This not level this also. Level. Exactly. Three advanced level physics. I mean, why? why? Yeah. Yeah. And also, uh, like everyone should understand that three hours. If a student looks at the physics paper first, the entire motivation goes down to not even solve chemistry and biology properly. Very and true. simple questions that they and know also, they'll not be able to this answer. This entire thing, which Shreya told, he is already at home and it's a little better, better, better I mindset. Understand. And with no time stress on your head. No time. Now imagine all that factors which students going through right. Right now and then solving the questions, it takes me a month to win the stroll. It's really so bad. So I my dear, really yeah. playing with the students. Which yeah. Is, so <laughs> the, uh, sorry to say, students, we had to make this video just because every student is asking us that, ma'am, what did I do wrong or what what can we do wrong? Students, even we are at the same point. We are also asking the same thing. You are not wrong. Yes. We are not wrong. Yeah. I feel we are wrong only in one thing: asking the system why. And if asking the system why is wrong, then be it. If you agree with this statement, smash that like button down there so that we understand that you know you are ready to question the system, even though, even though you know you might be put down or pushed down or kicked out. So we feel the same that we have been slapped, we have been kicked, we have been hurt. Uh, but I don't think we did anything wrong by just asking a question. Thank you so much, and please share this video as much as possible.